Before I start tying this uh, pretty cool uh, tube pipe fly, I just want to show you a bit of, of new stuff. Uh, this is uh, this is the EP uh, uh, Predator uh, f uh, fur brushes, and uh, what they are is is actually a very thin woven intertwined wire with with some uh, some. Uh, some fur, uh, some craft fur inside there, and this gives some very very cool heads and uh, uh, and, and finishing touches to to the flies to the flies. And as you can see, it's quite wide, so you can you can really really get some nice effect with these. And and uh, and uh, and for all the, for many of the modern types of of pike flies, this is uh, this is a very good material. The colors are awesome, uh, and uh, many of them are two toned. Um, and then uh, there's a bunch of very very useful colors, chartreuse and uh, and uh, uh, white and pink and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but I, I very very much like this. And as you can see, it's, it's fairly long, so it's going to add a lot of movement. There is uh, there is uh, six strings in a package, so also you get a lot of materials uh, for, for the price. And each each string can 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 last maybe two two maybe three maybe three pike flies. Uh, so so a very good quality, a very good uh, deal. Also, the other thing I want to mention before I start tying is is the the the, the new um, the new grizzly flesh from uh, from Hedron, a very very cool product uh, that uh, that cannot completely substitute the the hackle feathers, but uh, but uh, it's it's a very very good and, and very inexpensive uh, alternative to to the rather expensive hackles because you get a sh I was about to say shitload, but maybe that's not <laughs> the right word. But you get an enormous amount of of flesh here, so so this is equivalent to to quite a large number of uh, quite a large number of of sessile feathers. So uh, a good a uh, good uh, uh, suitable uh, substitution for uh, for the for the sessile feathers. Hi there. Today I'm going to tie a, a bit more toned down fly. It's going to be something in uh, in uh, in golden olive. We're going to add some flesh, but not too much. Um, uh, some of these uh, these colors are very good in in autumn. Uh, the the golden olive variety. It could, looks like a brim, or or well, basically it looks a lot like like food to to pike and uh, and uh, and uh, on days when uh, on days when uh, when all the bright colors uh, is not producing very well, then something like this can definitely definitely do the trick. And we're going to use uh, some of the new materials I mentioned before. This is a future fly tube on an OIMA tube fly needle, the best setup I've tried so far. Um, these, of course, will be will be nice with uh, in combination with uh, with a rig like this, uh, and uh, and of course the rickle tails. <laughs> There's a lot of add-ons going on 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 the pike scene these days. <laughs> A lot of add-ons. It's not. This is not going to be a, f a fairly uh, a fairly difficult fly, um, but it's 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 just to you know make a make a new composition of colors. But basically, uh, it's it's pretty much straightforward, like like many other uh, other types of pack flies that uh, that I enjoy. So start building the the fly with some olive, or you know any any color you have laying around. Uh, that is that is a bit natural, and that will mix with the, with uh, with something golden olive, something like that. Is 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 a, is a is a good color for for this. So basically, what we're doing is I've just applied a lot of thread here to um, to ensure I have something solid to 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 tie this this down on onto, like so. Doing some loose turns before I put on the pressure here. This again always works like uh, like the corona here, simply just to to help all the materials stand out. Pull everything back here, just force it back, hold the clamp down on it, and, and this. My pike fly fishing this year has actually not been as good as it used to. Um, the I've have have had two uh, two major lakes where I've been fishing a lot of uh, a lot of pikes and had some some. Uh, incredible experiences and these two lakes have for some reason not been producing this year I got one at uh, I got one very decent oh actually I got two above uh, a meter this year uh, one at, at a meter and 14 which is I would say still <laughs> pretty fair for a pretty decent size pike but uh, it's it's uh, and of course I should not uh, be complaining but it's it has not been like it has been uh, for for the for the yes, last couple of years i'm not sure if this water is uh, is simply uh, uh, dried out or uh, if the pack is just you know uh, 
learned my tricks. <laughs> That can happen. Pike can become wary over time, and simply, uh, simply uh, water that has been producing and producing and producing can simply, uh, all of a sudden, or 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 um, or over a period of time, simply become uh, become difficult to to catch the fish. I'm sure the fish are still there. I don't know why they are not responding. I've been trying a lot of different stuff. Had some, if, if, uh, had a bit of a comeback with the wriggle tails because I think that was something they had not seen before. But um, otherwise, it simply has not been producing. So I'm, I'm really, really looking for, um, looking for new waters. And that's a difficult process because everyone is, <laughs> you know, like I, I did myself, is, 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 is keeping their waters, you know, to themselves. Uh, I would, I would have loved to have been closer to Stee. And uh, and uh, and the brackish water over and on 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 sealant, but um, uh, I simply uh, simply that's that's simply too long a, a drive for me. It's about three hours something like that. Not gonna do that every day, you know. Uh, but uh, I'm looking for new pike waters. And a good trick to when when you're looking for new pike waters is simply to use Google Maps and find small lakes and stuff like that, and just try to make contact to uh, to to the local uh, to the, to the farms and stuff like that that it looks to be close to, and simply ask them if you can you know fish their water for a, for a, for a small sum of money, and uh, more often than than not you 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 get some sort of response, and and every now and then you can actually find some very 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 cool. And uh, very very good uh, pack waters in in this fashion. So here is uh, me just tying down some uh, some big fly fiber in uh, in uh, big fly fiber blend in uh, in golden olive. And now we need the uh, the grizzly flashable. And uh, this is simply to add some contrast, of course, add some some life as well. But to add some contrast, to actually make this fly appear more lifelike in the water. Um, and I must say, I really, really enjoy using uh, using this uh, this um, grizzly flashable. It's um, it's cool because it's it's kind of it, it, it dull. is not maybe not the correct word, but it's not it's not flashy. It's not shiny, and uh, and that really, really. Um, is is quite cool because uh, you can of course always if you want shiny you can you can always just add a lot of shiny stuff afterwards or or on, on top of this but but that it's not shiny actually is is cool because you can make some of you can you can use it for a lot of, of flies that you want to be a bit more subtle and a bit more discreet like this one and this time I I don't want too much of this because that's gonna that's gonna kind of not ruin the pattern, but it's it's gonna make uh, make the pattern look a bit more um, uh, not not look uh, give it the look I want. So so today, uh, which is not something I do often, I cut these flesh leftover flesh strands off. And if you want to ensure everything stays there, uh, I was just about to cut my. I'm t trying out a new scissor today. I don't think I'm, I'm not sure if I like it or not so far. I'm trying it now. I'm giving it a chance. I don't think it can compete with my uh, with my uh, Doctor Slick, but uh, who knows? Like that, if 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 you don't do that, then uh, it's uh, a very good thing would be to simply add some of uh, add some of this uh, saber gap with the brush here every now and then, simply to ensure your fly stays there. I can see the sun is about to come up. This is early morning here, so um, I'm just gonna make a bit of a strange light. So I'm just gonna roll down the window. Sorry. The curtain, sorry about the noise. Ah. I'll tangle like that. That makes everything looks better, I think. Like so. And um well what we're gonna do now is uh, is to take a bit of flash because I would like a bit of flash here. And that's the the holographic magnum in uh, in Fire Tiger. I'm not gonna use a lot. Just gonna use a small amount, and as you can see, you can see if you only use about this, then you have for <laughs> for a very very large number of flies. The packages are are nice and big, which is something you're definitely going for when you're tying pack flies. Get as much material in a pack as, as you can. So because that will mean it will last a bit longer.
also you need a good thread and uh, and the the 0 0.12 from future flies is one of the best threads i've ever tried for 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 pikes and for anything and that's basically the thread i'm using for everything uh, <laughs> now it's just you know the one that's on there and and it never comes off unless it's the spool is empty it's it has a very low diameter it's very thin but uh, at the same time it's incredible incredibly strong it's incredible strong now you could of course apply some more glue but there was a bit left over from from before so I'm pretty pretty sure this 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 flesh boost is gonna stay there also you can see the full length of the fly here if, if you like so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take some uh, some of this this is um, uh, this is a Icelandic sheep, and Icelandic sheep is a very cool, uh, very cool material. Um, it, it, it's 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 natural, it's organic material, but does not s soak up too much water. So uh, so you can you can you can add some bulk and stuff to your flies. When you get a, a bundle like this, you can see this is very very long. So what I do is as I, I I strip out this under part here. Um, so I simply I simply pulled out this under part, and that's basically the main part I'm gonna use of course I'm gonna take these the longest ones here just gonna brush these out so so they they look fairly good as well and I'm gonna lay them on top so everything has roughly the same length here like so and just to be completely on this safe side I'm just gonna take all of this very very woolly stuff out and that's that's just gonna you know uh, fill, take up a lot of space you can even pull your if you have a f I have a future fry brush here which is good for prepping materials simply take that to to make sure my my hairs are are nice and not completely uniform but at least uh, at least tapers the right way here like so and then I'm gonna take this and uh, you could make a hackle out of this, but instead I'm just gonna I'm just gonna widen it, uh, and uh, and and simply just lay it on top here, so it's it's gonna be like this, and then it's gonna be all around the all around the tube, and step on it. Oh, crazy stuff! <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Oh, well. There's the first for everything, I guess. <laughs> oh, don't you just love when uh, when you when you praise something a lot and talk about how good it is and that it never breaks and stuff like that, like I just did with this thread here, and then a second later, the inevitable happens. It breaks. So now I have to thread my chimco here again. Like this, like so, and then I need to cut off a lot of stuff here. Just cut, cut, cut. I'm cutting as close as I can to uh, to where I tied the thread down here. Oh, I was about to cut my thread. There. This is going to be covered by uh, by the, uh, the the string hackle in a second, and also by a cone head. But um, but cut as close as you can too. And that's nice to have a rotating vise because you can simply yeah well <laughs> rotate it and and cut away as, as you please. And also in order to make this stay there, um, a nice touch to this is of course to add some super glue. So I'm gonna do that. Add a bit of super glue. You can also simply just add some super glue directly to the thread here. That also works fairly well, like so. And as you can see, this it gives it adds a nice addition. This uh, Icelandic sheep here. To uh, to this fly and to well to basically to any fly. It's also a pretty nice material for large uh, large um, uh, 
a large salmon flies like this and then we're going to take a string and uh, for this one I'm going to take uh, take uh, uh, this uh, olive and uh, and orange one it's a nice color a nice color combination and it looks good on this fly as well with the uh, with the orange uh, flashaboo uh, and uh, uh, grizzly flesh up and since it's on a metal string you need to take a scissor that's not your everyday scissor so take something that is uh, you know a scissor that is uh, outlived itself or something like that so so you won't uh, you won't cut off your you, you won't destroy your your most precious and and best scissors every every time I turn this it's it's kind of like a hackle I simply just fold stuff backwards here like so and make sure that you you pull the strands out so I'm gonna make now the next turn here in front like so I want this to be a bit bulky so I'm gonna use about half of the string here there is six strings in in a package, so you get to to a, a decent a decent amount of uh, decent amount of flies, and also uh, it's two tone, so that that adds some some pretty cool effect an effect that's quite difficult to get if if you make your own strings, but of course you can make your own strings. It's that's fairly easy. You can do that with a dubbing loop, but uh, but, you, but you cannot get the uh, the the effect with the two like so. string off and you can really see actually also you can really see the the two-toned effect here Up there and to protect all of this and to add a bit of a bit more weight to to the fly, I'm gonna add a I'm gonna add a cone head. But before I add the cone head, I'm gonna do something that I've been experimenting a bit with. I'm gonna use a jungle cock's eyes. These are pro fake jungle cocks. So the jungle cocks, they're not the, the, the they're not the feather stuff. Uh, these are are actually made from some kind of very very durable, <laughs> incredibly durable. Um, um, not plastic, not uh, not paper stuff. But as you can see. Even though I try to pull this as much as I can, I cannot tear it, and it's actually pretty durable as well uh, compared to with with teeth and stuff like that. So, so, so these uh, these are nice. I've not done the testing completely. Um, I mean, as thoroughly as I, as I would like to, but but it, they seem they seem fairly promising. So, if 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 you're a bit skeptic, uh, of course wait for uh, for further instructions. I will I will uh, tell you more when I've had these uh, in uh, in a, in a million pike teeth. But uh, but the testing I've done so far actually actually looks as I said very very promising, and and they do look pretty pretty awesome on uh, on fl on the on on the, on the pike flies. I like the I like the look of them, like that. Gonna cut those off. Then I'm gonna make my wood finish, and uh, for the last, the last finishing touch on this one, um, I'm gonna use the, uh, I'm gonna use a, a, a cone head. A cone head is is a nice addition because it adds some weight and, and stuff like that to any fly. But also it, uh, it it gives a nice and even finish and and adds a bit of of weight to to your fly. So I'm just gonna take a future fly. Future fly is the only one that makes cone heads, which actually suits uh, suits the the big tubes. Of course, in order to get this to to be where I want it to be, I just need to take some super glue here, and you know, just. Also, this will make your eye stay <laughs> stay on there a lot longer, makes your fly a lot more durable, like this, and simply just, you know press that there without <laughs> uh, 
attaching yourself too much to uh, to the fly like so and uh, well all you need all I need to do now is, is to trim it down in size so it gets um, it gets around uh, this size here so it gets around this size here and uh, well basically there you have it um, and also you see it from the front end here it looks it looks pretty pretty deadly pretty deadly well thank you for tuning in uh, and a nice uh, a nice uh, pack flying some uh, some some cool cool colors